everyone. Today I will give a presentation about the stock, ma stock market crash. Uh, okay. Here is the agenda. First I will describe about the definition of the stock market crash and then uh, what the term uh, in stock market is the Dow Jones industry average and three major stock market crashes that happened in America. And then four causes of stock market crash of 1929. Uh, and last is a reference slide. Uh, what is stock market crash? Uh, imagine yourself in this situation. Uh, if you are the investor uh, in the stock market, what will you do if the stock, uh, stock price goes down? Mm, you must sell the stocks as well as other investors because you want to mm, we don't want to lose a lot of money in the stock market. Mm, so that's why the stock price, uh, the, the, so that's why the stock, stock market crash. Mm, first, I'll give a definition of the stock market crash. Mm, there's no net numerable, numerically, numerically, numerically specific definition of the stock market crash, but. Uh, Mm, stock market crash is uh, commonly apply, applies to steep double digit ex uh, percentage losses within a stock market index uh, over a long period of time. Um, so, what is the stock, stock market crash? Mm, stock market crash is a sudden dramatic decline of the stock price over a period of several days. There is an important term to know uh, in the stock market is the Dow Jones Industry Average, which we can call it DJIA. Mm, DJIA is a price weighted average of 30 significant stocks traded on the New York Stock Exchange. Um, any question? Mm, there are three major crashes that happened in American history, uh, including crash in 1929, crash in 1987, and the crash in 2008. As you can see here, the crash in 1929, uh, the stock price dropped dramatically in several days. And also in 1987, what happened here? And, uh, in 2008, the stock price dropped very steeply. Um, today, we are, I will pay more attention about the stock market crash of 1929. Uh, and I will explain four causes, four major causes uh, that resulted in the stock market crash of 1929. First is a prolonged period of a rising stock price. Second is excessive economic optimi optimism. Uh, and third, uh, third is a, stock, a market where PE ratio exceeds the long term ratio. And the last is extensive use of margin debt. Uh, first cause is a prolonged period of raising stock price. As you can see in this picture, uh, the Dow Jones industry average is increasing. Uh, from 19, 1929, at 1921 to 1929. Uh, which means uh, the, stock, the, stock, the stock were very valuable, so a lot of investors uh, buy a lot of st stocks from uh, uh, in the stock market. And, uh, and also, at the same time, they think uh, the stock price will uh, keep on raising without stop. So they keep on buying the stocks from the uh, uh, in stock market. Um, here we have the second cause is excessive economic optimism. Um, uh, as you can see in the, this picture, um, it shows the that uh, people are too 
optimistic that they uh, buy a stock in the stock market. But uh, once the stock price dropped, they start to sell the stocks uh, when the stock price was still high. To uh, in order to get uh, lost a lot, uh, in order to get rid of uh, lost a lot of money in the stock market. Mm. Is that clear? Uh, the third cost is uh, a market where P E ratio exceeds long term ratio. Uh, let me explain what is the P E ratio. P e ratio is named as price earnings ratio, uh, which is a valuation ratio of a company's uh, current share pri uh, price compared to its earning, earnings share. Here is the formulas of P e ratio. Mm. It means uh, when the P e ratio is low, mm, uh, buying the stocks from this company. The, the risk of buying the risk of buying the stocks from this company is low. So uh, the stock in this company is is very valuable to invest. Mm -hmm. As you can see in this picture, uh, the P ratio uh, the price price earning ratio is uh, exceeded the, the long term ratio maybe from ninety five sorry ninety twenty five to ninety 35. So um, that means uh, this this company is losing his uh, losing his uh, is not deserved to invest uh, uh, its stocks. So investors uh, were sold their stocks from this company to um, get rid of losing money. Use of money and debit. Mm, as we all know, the uh, econ economy in the uh, early 20th century in America is very uh, prosperous. So when the when the public is very rich, they create an attitude is a buy now pay later, which means they uh, borrow the money from the bank and uh, uh, using this money by our margin. And once the uh, stock uh, the stock price dropped, they lost their money in the stock market. So they don't have money to pay, pay back the loans to the bank. So the, that uh, that results in the bank crisis and and also stock market crash. Uh, so um, there are, there are a lot of complex causes uh, uh, related in stock market crash. They are just uh, uh, explains four major causes of the stock market crash. If you have uh, interest in the American history, maybe you can search on the internet and uh, maybe read, a, read a books about the stock market crash. Any questions? Okay, uh, here's my reference. <coughs> 